Starting a new one. This one is 36 by 36. And for you uh, millimeter people out there. Millimeter people. Basically the whole country that's not Canadians. The US. I don't know. Which got over there, Canadians. Yay. Anyways, this is the side we're working with today. It is a pine wood dial. It's about this thick. I think that said it on the front. One inch. Yeah. One inch by 36 okay. by 36. Yeah, so one inch thick, 36 round uh, wooden resin canvas. Looks like this. Yeah, it's that. Make it unwrap it. Centered like yoga. More centered. It's good. Yes, yeah, so we cleaned our studio. Looks like this. There's Kuja over there being creepy. Are you done? No. What are you doing? Do you want to come see? No? Cool. So, since this is a raw wood panel, we're gonna have to flip it. It's got a, a knot in it. Um, well, it'll fill. Have to uh, seal it or else air will get through. This side's better, I think. Um, you have to seal it, so we're gonna seal it with this stuff. It's by Bear. Um, it's um, a paint and primer. Should one coat should do it, right? It's, it's pretty. Black. It's pretty thick. Mmm, tar. It's a good job. God, hate you. No, Maybe we can do this for really a thing. There's so much trash in this. You need to put the trash in it. Mmm. Is it trash free now? Mm -hmm. See, you can let me know if you want to take a board. That's what oh. these are for. Look, it's a mill. <laughs> Hi, mill. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you so cute? Are you so cute? I know it. Oh, I know it. Baby, this is. We're using this house paint to seal it in instead of our poly, which also works. We just, we're gonna paint black anyway, so we may as well take a step out. I 
obviously you could base out in any color. We're choosing black because it goes with the color scheme that we're working with that we don't even know if it's going to be it. Because we work on the fly. Probably both. It's honestly gonna be both. Let's face it. Um, so yeah, today we're working with these colors. The first one is a purple uh, by Amsterdam. It's number something. Five, six, eight. The next one is um, a blue by Amsterdam. It's number five, five, one. A magenta by Artist Lofts. And I don't know what number it is, but it says Deep Magenta on it. Now I don't know which ones I've done. B. Um, a greenish blue. Number 557 by Amsterdam. And an Art District Titanium White. We go through so much of this. Oh, also a Craft Smart paint that is pink. It is called something neon pink. It's appropriate, it's very appropriate. Yeah, that's all of them. The resin that we're using today is Envirotex Light as usual. Where are we? Here we are. I just took the long way around for that. Moo is also here. Hi, Moo Mae. Could you look at this? Look up here. <gasps> What's this? What is this? <laughs> not true. Not having it. We're also going to be using a propane torch and a heat gun and probably a blow dryer because we're well rounded like that. All right, we're not really sure about what design work we're gonna do with this, but um, it's gonna be amazing. Probably, maybe, I hope. Of course. The amount that we bought was of 32 ounces, but I'm not sure if we're gonna use all 32 ounces. We'll just mix eight and eight. So we're going with 16 ounces to start. Well, that's what we should do is, we need to put the timer on. Okay, my phone. Timer, a timer is very critical. Because? Because it lets you know how long you've been working with it. And, and this stuff has a, what, a 30, 40 minute window? If that. Oh, we can't, you can work with it for 40 minutes. But that's definitely when it starts getting thick. video but I'm gonna repeat myself because it's still super important mix thoroughly both parts of your resin this resin is two part and if you don't mix them thoroughly together you're gonna either end up with parts that get set too quickly or parts that are sticky till the end of time and you can fix that it just takes a lot of extra work 
so um, I recommend just being thorough about it. It gets tiring, especially when you work in large quantities like this. But we recommend mixing larger quantities for about three minutes. We're almost at one minute. Or they say until it's completely clear. It's kind of cloudy and it clears up. For this one, we're going to do a dirty pour, which is exciting because we haven't done a real true dirty pour in a while. I guess the dragon was dirty pour, but it was a negative space dirty pour. This is just going to be super dirty. Here at a minute and a half. You're gonna see a lot of bubbles depending on how vigorously you stir. Um, also scrape the sides, scrape the bottom, scrape everything off of your stir stick. Um, this is because as minuscule as it seems, that'll leave weak patches in your resin. Trust me on this. I've wasted pieces before. All because of one Spot. You have to scrape it off, sand it down, alcohol it, and resin over it. Big pain in the arse. So we're at the three minute mark, and the resin is running clear. It's gonna have a slight yellow tint sometimes because of the hardener. Note, the older the hardener is, the more yellow it gets. Like when you buy it, and you open the box first to make sure the hardener is not yellow, because that means it's an older resin. So, see all these bubbles? We're gonna get those out with a heat gun or the quartz later. Resonant V. The amount of paint you put in is important because if you put too much paint, you're gonna end up with a marshmallow fluff consistency. Um, tinted pigment, just add barely enough to make it the color and opacity that you want. We always put the resin in our cups first and then add pigment accordingly, just to make sure. You can always go back and add more color. You cannot decide that you want less color. You can make more resin, but that's just gonna take down the time that you have to work with it. So. I think we're gonna use basically the same amount of each color in this one, except for the white. We're gonna do more white than any other color just to balance out the deepness of the black that we've prepped. Dump that over on the table. These are all medium bodied paints, so it takes a little bit to mix in the colors. Always make sure you mix them in thoroughly because if you don't, you'll end up with, I don't know if you can see that confetti-like chunks in it. Sometimes we'll strain our paint through a sieve. Sieve, is that the right word? Am I wording right? See, I'm gonna call the sieve. Yeah. You may notice little bubbles flying out when you mix your resin. Perfectly normal. As a rule, make 
dispenser here in a ventilated area. Our loft is well ventilated. Or just wear a respirator like you would if you were spray painting. There is a little chunk in the resin. No. I'm adding a bit of Bombay ink to this one because I wanted to. Um, if you're working with plastic like this, you're gonna want to clean out your um, apparatus so that you can do other pores in it because this will set in here and give you a resin coating. Take whatever you're stirring it with and press it up against the side. That way later you can just pull it all out like a mold of the inside of this. Makes life easier. You always want to keep a little bit extra in your cup so that you can add to some color that might be a little washed out to make it a little deeper. It's always nice. Good We've never done this before. Not with red, we've done it with acrylic. So how how do you want to do it? Um, make it do. Pour it. Mmm. Wow, oh, that's crazy. I think so. Yeah. Mine is a lot lighter than yours, but cheers. <laughs> Bing. How do you want to do it? Just you pour. That side, and I'll pour this side. This would have been a good one for you to do a splash. This is definitely not enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's Kids have parental supervision. We should probably have a parent with us right now. Just fire or fire and tip? Mix the rest of the clear and mix it all in.
This will definitely just be a base. <laughs> Maybe not. It could turn out like you want it. I think it just mixed too much. It'll settle, please. It'll settle. You have to hold it on there. What? Careful, you're scraping up resin. I touched it? Yeah. Like this part? Yeah. I love that. I think things like lines in the air level, like popping up. I think it's paint. Get up and just let it all just go one way. When you do it all these different ways, then it, I think we should have dealt with it. Is that? Too sporadic. Four is not a good idea. It's four. It is. It's going to be too many colors. Where is it dripping? You can just see all the the little cracks in the wood. See what we could do on the on the top coat on this next coat is do um, all like the majority of these colors, but transparent. That would make it.
there goes the timer. Or upside down. But 30 minutes. So, this is what our first draft looks like. Shut it down, timer. So, you know how we use that house paint to seal it? We didn't use poly like usual. Mm -mm. You guys can see all these little bee bubbles popping up. That is because we did not paint it enough. The bottom is still raw and it's letting air pockets through. It's still breathing. So no matter how many times we fire it, it's still going to... So no matter how many times we fire it, it's still gonna have these bubbles come through. Brave? He has Tourette's. <laughs> um, but this is the first coat and it will actually seal in all of the places that air is coming through. What we can do is baby it. We can come back in an hour and fire it again. This will pop some and it will have allowed some of the resin to seep into all these little areas that are allowing air through to do all these little beat bead holes. So that's what we're gonna do. This is our first um, layer. This is probably gonna be a two or three layered piece. Um, we'll wanna take that out. This pink did not turn out like we wanted it to. Oh, look at all those bubbles. So let that be a lesson to you all. Just stick to using poly and then coat it. Cause while we were gonna do another coat anyways, that would be a real bummer if um, we weren't gonna do another coat. We would have had to do another coat without wanting to. So what we're gonna do is sand it down after it dries and do another layer. So we will see you all then. So that's where we're at. And since we let all of our awesomeness and all of our shortcomings show up on our videos, this is uh, this is this one so far. But we'll post the next video, Mignana. Till then, thank you for watching. Thank you for turning in. Thank you for subscribing and giving us thumbs up and commenting and give us some, give us thing, giving us your thoughts and everything that you like and don't like about our artwork. Um, Just share it. That's all you gotta do is share it, okay? It's good. Oh, and thanks for our recent donations as well. Yeah. Every little bit helps. Anyways, till tomorrow.